time. Every good New Year's party needs a countdown. We count down the days till our vacation. Today we are counting down the top 10 ways you can stay a renewed mama. You know roller coasters, up, down, turning right, turning left, which way will they go next? We don't want to be roller coaster mamas. Up, down, which way is she gonna go next? One minute she's happy, the next minute she's shouting, wait for it, am I gonna get into trouble for spilling my milk? Am I going to get hugs tonight before bed or is she too busy? Oh mama, we wanna be steady, renewed, whole. Raise your hand right where you are, whatever you're doing, if you want that for you too. A steady, renewed, whole mama. Stick with my countdown and you will be. In fact, grab a piece of paper if you're not driving and write these 10 things down. Now, before we start with number 10, I've got to tell you this quote from Norman Mailer. Every moment of one's existence, one is growing into more or retreating into less. One is always living a little more or dying a little bit. Ah, oh, that gets me. Let's say it again. Every moment of one's existence, one is growing into more or retreating into less. One is always living a little more or dying a little bit. Growing into more or retreating into less, living a little more or dying a little bit. On the top of your paper where you're taking notes, write growing into more and living a little more each day. With each one of these 10 ways to stay a renewed mama, I want you to ask yourself, if I add this to my life, will I grow into more and live a little more? If you don't think you will, then ignore it. You can kick it out, you won't hurt my feelings. But I think you're going to want to keep all 10. So let's go. Number 10, to stay a renewed mama. Look for joy. Create opportunities in your day for joy. Purposefully choose something fun to do in your day with your children and your spouse. Schedule the fun if that does not come naturally to you. Play a game, dance in the rain, make up relay races or obstacle courses outside. Play follow the leader with silly dance moves. Make up some fun minute to win it challenges. Laugh, tell stories of good memories. Look at baby photos or photos of when you were dating your husband. Choose joy. Okay, number nine. To stay a renewed mama, do something nice for yourself. Take a nice long shower or bath. Take time to wash your face in the evening and put on your face cream. Like, let it be a little spa moment for yourself. Take a nap. I used to beat myself up for taking that 25 minute power nap in the middle of the day. But for five years now, I've consistently gotten up at four or five a.m. <laughs> to have quiet morning routine and work time for myself before the children get up. But come to 11 or 12, I've been up for like a seven hour day already and I'd sit down and do schoolwork with the kids and I couldn't help but falling asleep. I checked in with the foods I was eating, my blood sugar levels, I was exercising, I was just getting the afternoon slump at 11 a.m. right in the middle of our school school time and I would fight to stay awake like I'd stand up to do school, I'd dance around, I'd chop veggies while I help them but I would feel edgy like hurry up, hurry up, let's get this done. Not patient, not having fun. Eventually I just stopped beating myself up about it and gave myself the grace to take a power nap. I said kids I need a 25 minute power nap 
and they love the quiet play break and my nap that would then power me up for the rest of the day. So give yourself grace and do something nice for yourself each day. Okay, number eight, to stay a renewed mama, get creative. It is a gift to yourself to be creative in some way, like get a new hobby, plant a garden, sew, knit, cook, bake, paint, write, draw. <laughs> Don't put it off until your kids are older. Do it now. Give yourself the gift of being creative. You will be amazed at what a difference it makes in your life, what joy it brings back to you and keeps in your life. Okay, number seven, stay a renewed mama by watching those triggers. What sets you off? What annoys you? What frustrates you? What gets you down? One of my triggers was feeling as though I did all the cleaning myself. Like, why am I the only one in the kitchen cleaning up and everyone else is playing? And still I stopped and asked myself, how am I not training my children to help? How come I'm not asking my husband for help? It's my fault I'm feeling this way because I haven't trained my children to help and to see a need and lend a helping hand, or I just haven't asked my husband for help. Mama, it is such a gift to have children and your husband who lend a helping hand. We had friends coming over the other day and I had set up the vacuum cleaner. I hadn't said anything to anyone about it, but then I heard it running. I thought, oh, it must be my oldest. She's quick to lend a helping hand. But it was my six-year-old vacuuming without even being asked to. Before I knew it, he had the living room furniture moved around, including the couch. He rearranged the living room so that the parents could sit and talk and the dog could sleep in the middle on the, of the floor on her dog bed. That's what he told me. But wow, what a blessing it was to have their help and to tidy up before the friends came. So watch your triggers. What sets you off? And come up with a plan for how you can prevent those triggers from happening. How can you be proactive? How can you respond correctly the next time? Okay, number six, to stay a renewed mama, get off your phone, get off social. Put your phone down, hide it if you have to. Now, of course, I want you to see every Speak Life Badgets and Austin's Kids Club social post so that you can be encouraged. <laughs> But you can't get back the time spent scrolling. Live your life fully, mama, right here, right now, with those sweet children running around you, not looking at how others are living their lives. Put your phone down and look your children in the eyes. Play together. Talk with your spouse. We are blessed with today. Use the moments well. If there is one gift that you could give your children today, it would be your words, chosen carefully and spoken well. The words you speak today are like seeds planted in their hearts and minds. These word seeds will sprout and bear fruit in their life as they grow and become adults. Use Speak Life badges, sticker award badges, along with suggested scripts or words you can say in the situations you encounter with your children. These scripts are designed to help you to speak to your child's individual personality, to break lies they may be believing, and to help them to grow up with a truth-filled mindset. Get them today at speaklifebadges.com. Okay, it's number five, to stay a renewed mama, read God's word. The Bible. It's the best success book there is. God's Word is a lamp for your feet and a light for your path. Mamas, we stay renewed by staying in the Word, in His promises to us, in reading His Word every day, and speaking out His truth. 
Keep your focus on him, not on what's going on in the world. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what the will of God is and what is good and acceptable and perfect. God's word is a love letter to you. You can write at the beginning of your Bible at Genesis, dear, and then your name, dear Kimberly. And then all the way at the end of Revelation, put love God. I sincerely hope that you have, or you will discover a father, daddy relationship with God and a friendship with Jesus. He is so more than just your guide or the man upstairs or a presence in your life. If you want to learn more about that, having a daddy, Abba, father relationship and a friendship with Jesus, DM me and I would love to chat. Okay, number four, to stay a renewed mama, be grateful. At the end of the day, before you go to bed, talk of all the things that you are thankful for from the day. When you wake up in the morning and you're still snuggled in your warm bed, smile and think of the things that you are thankful for and what you can look forward to in the day. And then throughout the day, speak gratitude. As you clean your house, speak out that you are thankful that your home is a shelter and a retreat from the world. As you wash dishes, be grateful that you can serve delicious food that gives health to your body. While folding the laundry, be grateful for all the places you went and all the things you did in those clothes. You had fun in them. <laughs> and as you make your beds, be grateful for good sleep sweet dreams, and rest. Joy abounds when you are grateful and you get a fresh perspective to keep you going. Okay, we are at number three. To stay a renewed mama, guard your home atmosphere. What are you allowing in your home environment? Everything that we bring in, good or bad, in the form of media, books, print, clothing, furniture, and food affects our atmosphere and our health. We commit to setting no worthless thing before our eyes. We guard or we watch over our hearts with all diligence because from our hearts flow the springs of life. Be allergic to whining, complaining, don't let it in. <laughs> Protect your home, be the gatekeeper. May your home be full of love, acceptance, contentment, trust, joy, grace, favor, connection, good communication, wisdom, truth, health, and forgiveness. May your home be filled with a tangible, peace. When you walk in, you immediately feel at ease and calm. And when your friends and your family step into your home, may they literally step into peace, joy, fun, and abundance. Okay, it's number two to stay a renewed mama. Guard your health. Move your body. That could mean a regular morning or evening exercise time. That could mean going to the gym or it could just be a dance party with your children. That could mean those relay races out back or red light, green light. Just move your body every day. Eat foods that your body loves. If you know something doesn't sit well with you or aggravates your gut, don't eat it. <laughs> Cut out the wheat or the dairy if you know you need to. Your sleep, your skin, your emotional balance will improve. Your brain fog will go away. So stick to the foods that your body loves. Drink water. Take your vitamins. Get sunlight. Laugh. Choose joy. Guard your health, mama. Okay. 
We're here, we're here. We're at number one. I've saved the best for last. Number one, to stay a renewed mama, check in with your thoughts and what you're saying. Oh no, you're thinking, come on, Kimberly. I've listened to your first five episodes and I, you keep talking about thoughts and what we said. It's getting to be a broken record over here. <laughs> That's okay with me. As a man thinks, so is he. I, it's wisdom talking here, will speak noble things and the opening of my lips will produce right things for my mouth will utter truth. Be careful, mama, to kick out the old ways of thinking that have held you back for so long. Sometimes we wanna hang on to them because we feel a false sense of safety there. Have you ever said, I just want to stay angry, mad, offended, Ugh, I am so upset. But here's your warning. You hang on to those old ways of thinking and responding and you'll stay where you are. It's like in Luke 9, 57 to 62, when Jesus said to those going along the road with him, follow me. And one said, permit me to first go and bury my father. I will follow you, Lord, but first permit me to say goodbye to those at home. Jesus knew that if they went back to home, to their old ways, the old crowd, they wouldn't come back. And it's the same for us. If we hang on to those old ways of thinking and responding, we stay where we are. We won't see you again. You'll stop tuning in each week to the Renewed Mama podcast because it's easier. It's safer. There's less resistance to just stay where you are. It's too much work. It's too intentional to stay a renewed mama. But sweet mama, watch out for the thoughts and the words that you say again and again that are lies holding you back and stealing from you abundant life, joy, hope, and belief. I don't want to, you don't want to. Stay in discouragement, frustration, offense, arguing and strife. I mean, we were there once, but as we renew our mind, our thoughts, and the words we say, we are stepping out of that and walking in newness of life. Who wants to go back to negativity, condemnation, judgment, bondage? Not me. So check in with your feelings. What am I feeling right now? Remember, feelings are important. We need to acknowledge them. Hello, feelings, I see you. But we don't act on them. They're like the alarm clock that says, ding, 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 wake up. This is what you're feeling right now. And then ask, what am I thinking? What am I saying in my head? Pay attention to the words that you're thinking and saying in your mind. You've heard me say it before. Just because you think it doesn't mean anything. It's, it's the thought that comes into your computer brain. Then you decide, you decide, am I gonna accept this thought or am I gonna reject it? Am I gonna keep it or kick it out? Now, what am I saying? What am I speaking out loud? Just because you say it, it doesn't mean anything. They are just words until you agree with it. If you didn't choose back when you had that first thought to accept it or to reject it, You've got to decide here, are you going to keep it that? Or are you going to kick it out? This takes us to the next question where you need to check in. When did I first feel this way? Who said this about me? When was the first time that I felt like it's too hard or I didn't belong or I felt alone or afraid or unloved or made fun of? When was the first time that I looked in the mirror and said, I'm ugly? Whatever it is, whatever it may be that you're speaking, when was the first time that you said that? What was the event or the situation or the experience? How did you react? Did you try to protect yourself by making a joke of it with humor? Or did you run away and hide? Who said this about me? 
If you don't ask yourself these questions and deal with them, you can hold on to hurts and pains and sadness and anger for a long time when you weren't meant to. You were made to live free, to shine, to be fully you, and to have the most fun. Now, ask yourself the last two questions. Could I be believing a lie? And what is the truth here? Go back to God's word, the Bible, to find the truth that you need to begin thinking and speaking. Renew your mind to this truth instead of the lie. Grab the free What's in Your Word Bank guide at speaklifebadges.com. What's in Your Word Bank? Use the piggy bank as a way to record. Like, what are you thinking and saying over and over again? And then look for the patterns. Look for the lies. Cross out the lies that you need to kick out and write down the truth that you will begin thinking and speaking. Get this free What's in Your Word Bank guide at speaklifebadges.com. What's in Your Word Bank? That countdown was good. Okay, let's recap. Number 10, stay a renewed mama by looking for joy. Number nine, do something nice for yourself. Number eight, get creative. Number seven, watch those triggers. Number six, get off your phone, off social. <laughs> Number five, read God's word, the Bible. Number four, be grateful. Number three, guard your home atmosphere. Number two, Guard your health, and number one, renew your thoughts and what you're saying. Remember that quote from Norman Mailer? Every moment of one's existence, one is growing into more or retreating into less. One is always living a little more or dying a little bit. Mama, will you incorporate in your life these 10 ways to stay a renewed mama so that you keep growing into more and living an abundant life each day? I want that for you. Tell me how it goes. Leave a note for me in the comments under the video podcast blog post at speaklifebadges.com. Countdown to staying a renewed mama. I want to hear from you. Hit the like button and subscribe. If you like this episode, would you leave a review? I'd appreciate it so much. And share this episode with another mama. We weren't meant to be tired, worn out, overwhelmed, exhausted, alone mamas. So share the love and the health so that we stay renewed. I bless you, mama. God loves you. He delights in you. He says of you that you are adequate. You are enough. He said of you along with all of his creation that it was very good. He delights in you with gladness. Let him renew you with his love. He waits on high to be gracious to you and to have compassion on you. May you know his great love for you today. Lots of love to you. I'll see you next time. Bye.